McDonald's is an American fast food behemoth. With more than 37,000 restaurants in 120 countries, the chain dominates pretty much every market it chooses to enter. It has a reputation for taking over fast. But in the Philippines, where McDonald's has been trying and failing for nearly 40 years to be number one, there's a local chain giving McDonald's a run for its money, Jollibee. Jollibee, you know, came way back in 1978, really established its presence and, you know, captured the market um, a lot. So then subsequently, when these brands like McDonald's and KFC came in, um, you know, it's hard for them to really take away the value proposition that Jollibee offered. Filipinos love Jollibee, and it's not just because it was there first or that it undercut its competition on prices. They nailed their recipes. And of course, I think they positioned themselves a, a bit cheaper than McDonald's. So when McDonald's came in, uh, the difference was maybe 50 cents to a dollar for every value meal. So that's how they tried to position themselves. Filipinos love American food, but there's also a twist in it because we like it sweet. For example, um, we serve spaghetti and they try to make the sauce a bit sweet. The menu covers a lot of ground. Fried chicken, french fries, sweet burger steaks, chicken sandwiches, and a spaghetti with a sweet banana ketchup sauce in hot dog chunks. Culture also plays into it. Uh, they have a tagline, it's called Lang Hap Sarap, meaning uh, it, it smells really good. So um, it, it's really inviting the smell. Uh, and um, um, I think they, they know where they should be targeting uh, the market. So it's really, uh, it's really the middle class market for Filipinos because uh, they initially positioned it as a fast food, but now I think since the mass market is developing, I think they positioned it as a QSR, so a quick serve restaurant. Its mascot is a human-sized red and yellow bumblebee wearing a blazer and chef's hat. It's meant to epitomize the Filipino spirit of an always busy but cheerful people. Jollibee is the biggest fast food um, chain in the Philippines itself, um, so it is hugely popular. And um, a last, last part of this is because of its branding itself. So it has become to be known as a very um, household and uh, family-oriented brand that you know really connects and resonates and strikes a chord among Filipinos. Jollibee has also pushed out TV commercials and ads that are big on family values. And the numbers show that so far, Jollibee indisputably trumps McDonald's in the Philippines. McDonald's has roughly half as many locations as Jollibee there, and while neither company isolates its revenues in the Philippines, Euromonitor estimates show that Jollibee pulled in nearly twice as much as McDonald's in 2017. Jollibee captured nearly 36% of the fast food market in 2017, and McDonald's took roughly half that. And Jollibee's hold on the market doesn't end with its own chain. Jollibee Foods Corp also owns chains in the Philippines like Chinese fast food chain Chow King, Greenwich Pizza, Red Ribbon, which sells pastries, and even U.S.-based Burger King, almost all of which rank in the top five list of chained fast food restaurants in the Philippines. So the company literally owns its competition. But Jollibee is now at a crossroads. The domestic market is oversaturated, so it's instead setting its sights on the Filipino diaspora. If you look at the international expansion, I think uh, year to date, at least they've grown around 25%. So it's already starting to overtake the uh, domestic front. The same store sales grows, meaning it compares uh, stores that, that were already operations uh, from the previous year. So it's only been growing 8%. Uh, and it's since the publicly listed company, 8% isn't enough if, if you're just going to grow it organically. So they have to expand. So far, Jollibee has more than 200 international locations in countries ranging from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait to Italy and Canada. The Filipino chain is also taking on rival McDonald's on its home turf. Since 1998, Jollibee has opened 37 locations in the U.S., all in cities with big Filipino communities. Just take New York City. There are more than 250,000 Filipinos living in the New York metropolitan area. In the fall of 2018, Jollibee opened its second location in the city. This one in the heart of Times Square. Yeah! Jollibee uh, has a very distinct Filipino taste. So most, most of the dishes here have a, uh, a sweet uh, taste to it. Um, I always loved Jollibee um, since birth because Back in the Philippines, we always do, we always eat there. 
CNBC decided to fact check. Our team of producers put Jollibee's sweet and savory menu to the test. Oh, that's good. I think it's good. It's, it's not that spicy yet. Our producers approved for the most part. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Jollibee may be striking a nerve with Filipino Americans, but the company appears to be thinking much bigger when it comes to dominance. With only 37 Jollibees and roughly 4 million Filipinos living in the United States, Jollibee's reach in the country is far from the command it had in the Philippines. And targeting Filipinos in the U.S. isn't enough for the company to skyrocket to success. That's why Jollibee Foods Corp. decided to take a majority stake in a popular American burger joint called Smash Burger. We, we wanted to replicate the successes of Philippines in the U.S., which is to have a multiple uh, number of uh, brands that are successfully operated. And uh, that's why we, we have this mass burger, we have uh, Tortas Frontera, and we're continually exploring other possible acquisitions. Smash Burger only has 323 restaurants in the United States, a far cry from McDonald's more than 14,000 stores. But it gives Jollibee the opportunity to increase its presence in the U.S. and allows it to target American consumers as well. That's kind of, that's more of their foray, uh, one into uh, the overseas market and second into QSRs. In September 2018, Jollibee said it was also looking to get in on America's $41 billion Mexican food market by purchasing a stake in Tortas Frontera, a small Mexican sandwich chain in the U.S. But the United States isn't the only country where Jollibee has set its sights. They've also been expanding uh, in China, for example, so I think they, they experimented. I think that one has been more successful. The, the owners have uh, roots uh, from China, so I think that has proven to be more successful. And of course, logistically, it's it's more accessible to, to I guess, ex expand uh, in a, I guess, in the area that's closer to, to home. Jollibee has also made a few strategic acquisitions in China and in Vietnam, where it's leaned into coffee and pho. Though Jollibee has expanded its reach to other countries, McDonald's still squashes the company when it comes to revenues. McDonald's made nearly $23 billion in 2017, while Jollibee Foods Corp. brought in only 10% of that. Jollibee has a long way to go until it can replicate the success McDonald's has seen around the world. But until then, it comfortably holds its number one spot back home in the Philippines.